let's just say we didn't get to do a lot of the things we wanted to do because we found out transportation has become a very big issue for us uh we wanted to go all the way up to the volcano but instead we ended up actually uber has been charging them like five dollars to go all the way up pretty much yeah, like way, 40 minutes away yeah way too cheap and that's why everybody's canceling mm -hmm. and so we decided to go to the picnic um steakhouse where there's a slide it's a do or die we're doing this i'm nervous but we ready we ready we got this You guys really do look like twins from this angle. And we noticed even trying to get a ride back down was even hard. So we said we're not even going to go anywhere any more higher to the volcano. Yeah, because like in order for us to get a ride back down, like we we went through the Uber app, and then the guy, well actually, first two rides got dropped, mm -hmm. and then somebody else had picked it up, and it was like you paid cash or card, cash or card, and then that's whenever we started communicating with him a little more, and he was like, yeah, I can come get you, but I'm gonna charge you this much cash, you know, and you pay directly to me, you know, instead of going through Uber. So that's what we didn't end up having to do to get back, you yeah. know, get back down. And so. we didn't want to go too high and we, our signal not be the best or people not wanting to come and feeling yeah. actually stuck. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, it makes us realize that yesterday when somebody was saying, are you going to pay in cash? We canceled it, but we didn't fully understand why he even suggested that. Mm -hmm. And we were like, we do not want to be stuck up here. So we were like, we'll pay cash. We just want to get back down and be yeah. closer to the room because this is where most of the the Uber riders are. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and even it's really I haven't really seen taxis up there either. Yeah. People are driving their own cars up there. So yeah. if you have your own car, have a blast drive all over town, all over the country, everywhere. If you don't have a car, we we didn't really got a chance to venture into the bus riding the buses, but. The Uber situation got a little tricky for us. So we feel like we didn't get a chance to fully enjoy El Salvador the way we wanted to. But we're learning. But our time has run out. And as sad as it is, we also got to get our stuff situated. And he got his COVID results back, but I haven't gotten mine. So, so now we're waiting on yours, hopefully. I don't know why they didn't send them both at the same time, but I, I guess, know. you know. So we might have to call them. I don't know. We'll find a way to communicate. Yeah. So hopefully all that works out well. But in my case, we shall see you tomorrow as we are heading on to our next destination. So anyway, guys, I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of the area we've been staying at and uh, show you guys our room you know we haven't even showed you guys the room yet and today is actually the last day that we're going to be here we're actually leaving here today um and we're catching a flight to miami so um yeah let's get on with this room tour guys here's a little street we're staying on very quiet street very quiet so, this is where we're gonna go in. Have a nice little sitting area. If you wanna come out and have a cup of coffee and have a seat, you can.
has been bad at all. Have this mama bird up here. I don't want to get too close, but I guess she's sitting on some eggs over there, protecting her babies. And you're gonna come in here. Some seats here. Wash and dry. Get your clothes done. Do what needs to be done. Unfortunately, we was not able to use these because we did not understand the language on them. And one button on a dryer is uh, it's broken. So we didn't know how to start the dryer. So we had to go and get our clothes washed somewhere else. So we're gonna go up and we're gonna go to the room. Here's the small kitchen. Like it's literally a small kitchen, but I guess it has what you need. Only thing that I wish we had was maybe like a two burner stove instead of a one burner. But yeah, mini fridge. Little mini fridge. And then here it's like, I guess a, it's supposed to be a TV right here. But I guess for some reason they didn't have it there. But whenever we steamed it on the pictures for the Airbnb, there was a TV right here. So there's no TV there. And here's the closet. It's a closet in there. And then here's the shelf where we've been keeping most of our stuff at. So. And then they have like this big old window in the bedroom. Yes, like every day this one bird comes and like try to like gets up in here. So make sure we keep that window closed. AC, thank God we had AC. A little TV on the wall. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's not a bad place, but some things could have been a little bit better in here for us. So, dining room table. Nice dining room table. The couch, we did not sit on that couch. As you can tell, why? See the stains. We did not sit on that couch at all. So the couch could have been a lot better, but you know, it is what it is. We're gonna go into the bathroom. Here's the bathroom, which is not bad. It's just a regular bathroom. Only thing I did not like in here, what we did not like was a shower curtain. I don't like shower curtains. You know, they hold a lot of germs and stuff and kind of have to be careful with those. And also the rug. But other than that, I mean, it's a pretty nice Airbnb. Yeah, kept us comfortable while we was here. And yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, so yeah, so I gave you guys the tour um, of the place. And today is our last day here. So today we're going to be leaving. We're going to be catching a flight to Miami. And where are we going after that? We have no idea. We just don't know. We don't know. What are we doing? I'm gonna go stay in Miami for a few days and figure ourselves out where we wanna go from there. So, um, yeah, you guys stay tuned with us.